Okay, uh, there's lots of Microsoft news today because they had an event in New York at which they unveiled some pretty cool looking stuff. The biggest news today was about the Surface Studio, Microsoft's first ever desktop PC. It's an all-in-one PC like the iMac, all of its components are held in a single base and monitor unit, but hey guys, it does more than the iMac, alright? It's a 28 inch display with 13.5 million pixels at a 4500 by 3000 resolution. With its zero gravity hinge, you can adjust the screen height from upright to flat, making it easy to use the Surface pen, which yes, the studio supports. Microsoft also unveiled the very cool Surface dial to go along with the Surface Studio as well as the uh, Surface Pros and Books actually. It's a dial that's in line with the functionality of a mouse and keyboard but makes graphic design and other working tasks more accessible. You can use it on your desk like a keyboard or put it directly on the screen to interact easily with your project. For specs on the Surface Studio, there's Intel Core i5 and i7 options with an NVIDIA 980 4GB GPU, 32GB of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage. There are four USB 3.0 ports, mini display port, an SD card slot, and Ethernet port. You can pre-order now for a shipping date of December 15th starting at $3,000. That's a lot. Also at the Microsoft event, the company told the world about the Surface Book i7. As you can probably guess, the new Surface Book has a core i7 as well as twice the graphics performance of the original Surface Book with the GeForce GTX 965M, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of of storage. It also includes a larger battery said to last 16 hours, which is quite a bit longer than the one minute on the Surface Pro 3. The inside has a new thermal system with a second fan, and the laptop design has a two-in-one design of the original with a detachable PixelSense touchscreen, full keyboard, and the compatible Surface Pen, of course. You can also pre-order this now for uh, $2,400, and it ships on November 10th. Okay, and a few more things from the Microsoft event. First, the Windows 10 Creators update, mostly 3D stuff like the 3D version of the classic program Paint. It will allow you to scan objects from the real world with the Capture 3D tool and bring them into a 3D environment. Once you create an object or scene, you can convert it to a format that can easily be 3D printed. There's also a community pane that allows you to find and pull in creations from other users. Additionally, in 3D Paint, you can turn your 2D doodles into 3D ones. The creations can also be viewed in 360 degrees with the HoloLens. There's also 3D in PowerPoint now, where you can integrate 3D objects from a 3D clip art library and then layer your movements into your presentation. Microsoft promises to implement 3D into its most popular applications this coming year. There's more to the creators update so check that out but this 3D stuff looks pretty awesome to me even though I'm pretty terrible at like art and design and stuff like that. All right, all right, last thing. Microsoft announced that it will bring the price down of Windows 10 VR headsets to $299. The headsets will have six degrees of freedom, so you won't have to be tethered down to a system. There aren't many other details yet, but Microsoft announced that it has partnered with Asus, Acer, Dell, HP, and Lenovo to bring a wide range of Windows 10 VR headsets to the market next year. All right, that's enough of this uh, this Microsoft stuff for one day. Let's, uh, let's get to uh, some shorter news stories more quickly um, than, those, than those other ones. A YouTuber shared a screen grab showing a conversation supposedly between VR developers about the spread of eye herpes at VR demonstration events. This is just a rumor, but I've done quite a few demonstrations now. I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Are my eyes watering or... <sighs> the Apple AirPods are being delayed a little longer than the late October release window because they need a little more time to make them ready for your ears, said an Apple spokesperson in a pretentious way, of course. Also, there's a big Apple event tomorrow. Google Fiber has cut 9% of its staff and paused Fiber plans in 11 cities since it has not reached its subscriber goals and Fiber construction is a costly endeavor. It is, however, not the end of Google Fiber. And Xiaomi, or Xiaomi, I think people got mad at me last time I said that wrong. Xiaomi has announced the Xiaomi Mi Mix featuring a 6.4 inch screen, which is basically bezel-less, with a 91.3% screen to body ratio. It has a Snapdragon 821 processor and a 60 megapixel rear camera. The phone doesn't have a call speaker, but uses a technology that employs the acoustics of the phone's design to send electrical signals to create sound in the ear when on a call. I mean, even if that doesn't end up working very well, like, at least it sounds pretty cool to talk about. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the descriptions below. I'm a hairy hippopotamus. Yes, well, 
some may say, some rude people. Guys, this is the last week of October. Well, it's October 31st on Monday, but that's a holiday, Halloween. So we're not gonna be at work then. Uh, uh, Barrett, uh, what? Yeah. Halloween is, is not a holiday. Oh. We, uh. we still need to come to work, so. Right. Well, it's coming close to the end of the month anyway, so hurry up and subscribe to the NCIX newsletter and be entered to win an Asus Zenfone 3. If you're already subscribed, just hurry up already and claim your news points, newsletter points, that is, for October. Click over, yeah, no, that was the right one. Click over here or in the links below for more info on that. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this one from NCIX. Now I've got to go and do a thing like... Didn't... well, uh... Not really too sure, actually. Uh... okay, bye.